Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the IPFS weekly call. Um, my name's Adin. I'll be running you through this meeting. Uh, so first things first, we need a note taker. Do we have any volunteers? Ah, Alan, thank you. Thank you. Much, much appreciated. Uh, if your name is not, so Alan, you cut out there. Say again. I, I was just saying, I know how painful it is waiting for people to volunteer. So I thought I'd volunteer. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, yeah. If you're here, uh, and you want to drop your name in the attendees list, that would also be appreciated. Um, the doc is in zoom. Thank you, Jessica. Um, okay. Do we have any additional agenda items? Anything anyone wants to add, please add it to the document and then we will get to it. My personal announcement is that if we, if you have not noticed, GuyPFS 0.5 was released. Uh, if you have not upgraded, you should upgrade. It will improve your experience as well as those who are on the network already. So give it a shot. All right, well, I guess then without uh, further ado, I'm going to hand it over to our uh, our presenter for the day. Howdy. I'm all galaxied up over here. Uh, I'm Braden. I'm from uh, Unstoppable Domains. Uh, let me show my screen. I have a little, little stump speech to give here. Yeah, so, um, oh, I only have, Oh, here's the present button. Cool. Um, so we are Unstoppable Domains, uh, and we make blockchain domain names that resolve to decentralized websites. Um, so uh, yeah, so we launched uh, Unstoppable Domains in 2018, um, and uh, we got funding and have grown since then. Um, and we build blockchain domain registries. So we released uh, the dot crypto extension on Ethereum and dot zill on the Zillica um, blockchain. Um, we operate a registrar where we sell domains at unstoppabledomains.com. So kind of like a GoDaddy like interface and we are building decentralized web tools um, that resolve websites like a browser. Uh, we have a Chrome extension. Um, we are making some IPFS web templates uh, that people can uh, people can interact with. We've built some deploy tools um, so that you can deploy uh, decentralized websites to our naming service. Uh, and we also are doing business integrations um, with wallets to uh, like resolve cryptocurrency addresses and uh, uh, also allow people to uh, resolve. IPFS websites. Um, so a blockchain domain name is just like a, uh, a DNS domain name, except it's stored on a smart contract, which means that it's got all those nice blockchain security guarantees. Um, it's a self custody asset, which means that um, it again has uh, all those nice um, like blockchain like properties. Um, and we resolve crypto addresses, websites, uh, and other metadata, um, depending on what you want. Um, and why do we need the decentralized web? Well, it's really important that um, files are decentralized and available to everyone, but it's just as important that the way we look up those files uh, is decentralized and uh, fault tolerant. And <coughs> uh, so, um, yeah, uh, there have been more and more issues with um, 
with uh, like registrars and companies, hiking fees um, in the space, like VeriSign has been trying to hike prices.org, uh, got sold and is gonna hike prices. Um, and yeah, we wanna avoid um, all that. Um, so uh, what we've built is a suite of smart contracts to resolve, um, resolve this stuff. Uh, we've built a transaction processor and an easy uh, UI so that um, users don't have to have any Ethereum and can still trustlessly um, uh, configure and deploy these websites. Um, and um, again, we've built a pretty simple and extendable interface for just fetching key values off the blockchain and uh, uh, resolving those values to IPFS websites. Um, so you go on to unstoppabledomains.com, you can search and buy a name, you can claim it with a MetaMask type wallet, you can upload uh, like a website uh, to IPFS and um, configure your cryptocurrency addresses and stuff with a private key and a signature just by like uh, using like uh, Web3 ETH sign or um, yeah. And we've uh, started building our, uh, our decentralized web tools um, since uh, the beginning of uh, and kind of middle of last year. So we've got a browser um, that runs an IPFS node inside that can resolve um, that can resolve websites. We've got a Chrome extension. Uh, and then we also uh, recently got uh, integrated with Opera on Android. So if you have um, if you have an Android phone, you can uh, resolve .crypto domains on your mobile. Oops. Um, we've got static templates. Um, we've got a simple file uploader where you can design a static um, uh, website on your local and then just uh, upload it. And then we're using Pinata, who I see is here, uh, for pinning on IPFS so that uh, we can ensure that everyone's up. Um, we've got our library uh, on our GitHub. We've got um, some API docs too, uh, if you want to look at it. Uh, and then we've got some partners and we've got more on our site if you want to see who else is integrated. Um, and then here are some nice numbers. Uh, so lots of domains. We've uh, seen an uptick in websites too, 3,000. Um, and then <coughs> we've also got a fairly large user base. Um, yeah, and then we've got these companies working with us. So, um, my ether wallet is doing resolution Ethereum or sorry, EtherScan is, or sorry, my ether wallet is also, uh, like launching their own IPFS website. EtherScan is doing a uh, search engine, um, Kyber network and switcheroo are, uh, are, uh, also launching IPFS websites. Um, Pinata uh, is doing our pinning. Thank you, Pinata. And then um, uh, Ethmail is planning something, and uh, ViewBlock also has um, search inside them. They're a block explorer. Um, yeah, and here are some more links um, if you want to download the presentation and go check some stuff out um, for the IPFS templates, resolution. Um, the browser and anything else, we're definitely down to talk. Um, yeah, we're super excited about all this. Yeah, and that's it. I kind of wanted to leave uh, a lot of this presentation open to questions. So if uh, anyone has anything, um, I'd be more than happy to happy to talk. Yeah, well, th thanks a lot. That's uh, that's fantastic. Um, does anyone have any questions?
Tell um, us about the browser. Sure. So the browser, uh, oops, I have the old version. I do most of my, my work on my laptop. Um, but the, um, the browser you can find on our website uh, and you can uh, download it right here. So there's, uh, yeah, here it is. And um, the browser uh, can resolve .eth, uh, .crypto domains, and um, uh, works wonderfully. Does it does it bundle Go IPFS with it? Uh, no, it does not. It bundles JS IPFS. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So it's so a Chromium it, browser. Yeah. Um, and it's open source. Um, so you can go look at the source code uh, on our GitHub, which is at GitHub uh, and stop. Oops. Unstoppable domains. And then we've got browser. Yeah, so here it is. Um, you can check it out. Um, and if you want to see a list of websites, um, which we call it view block. <coughs> uh, has indexed all our .zil and our .crypto um, websites, so you can go here uh, on view block, and I can drop this inside um, chat. Where's my zoom? Uh, uh, there's chat. Um, the unique feature of the browser is that um, when you go to a website, you have the option to, with one click, turn on the IPFS node. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a method for unincentivized, uh, unincentivized getting a lot of different nodes to support some specific content. Yep. So here we go. Boop, boop. The smiley. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and so you can, uh, if you go on view block here, you can see the big litany of lots and lots of domains. Um, and then there's also, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Are there any other resources, Brad, for seeing websites? Not yet, right? Uh, there is one other list that I'll drop in. Yeah, we're trying to move. So right now there's the, the search functionality and the, uh, in the actual browser have not quite merged yet. Right. Um, but pretty soon we're going to, we're going to get to a point where uh, you can actually do your searching up here uh, with a blockchain search engine, which will be pretty cool. Um, uh, but for right now, you have to know what sites you want to visit. And you can bookmark stuff over here once you know. But um, yeah, it's still, it's still very much a work in progress so far. Um, but it is, it is awesome because it really does resolve uh, decentralized websites. Uh, yeah. Anyone else? I got a question about uh, potential interop with uh, existing DNS. Um, sure. Are you playing something like uh, like DNS proxy, exposing uh, Zeal and crypto names over like regular old school DNS, so that clients can just resolve it? So yes, that is uh, definitely um coming um we're really also interested in like actually uh integrating with ICANN itself too 
So, um, but yeah, those tools have not been made quite yet. Well, we have zill.link for um, for dot like a dot zill like a mirror for dot zill domains, and I believe we have one coming for dot crypto as well. Um, but we're also really just focused on getting integrations with browsers, so you can actually just view the decentralized mm -hmm. web uh, natively. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So I, I had one, which is, uh, what is your guys' approach to to dealing with domain squatting? So the, I think the 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 conversation around domain squatting winds up being around a couple of different things. I think one thing is around like brand protection, and another thing is around um, who gets all the best names. And so for the first question of brand protection, uh, we imitated the process, what's called sunrise process, that's done by traditional domain registries, meaning that we identified uh, brand names and blocked them so that they cannot be registered by anyone other than the brand owner. And so like, this is like all crypto companies, all major companies like Google or whatever else. And we actually decided to just take that namespace and give them away for free to those brands when they come to us. And the idea there was we wanted to prevent squatting but we also wanted to onboard companies. And for the most part, we imagine the companies are probably not actually gonna care about this for several years until it gets bigger, but we didn't want them to, when they eventually care, not be able to get their brand. Um, so we are uh, getting them to claim over time. And we actually have already had maybe, I think 10 Fortune 1000 companies claim their names so far um, and a whole bunch of crypto companies. Um, so that's squatting on the, on the like brand protection side, on the brand protection side, I think that's super important. If you don't do that, you're going to have major problems with your registry um, and with browsers, you know, being willing to support it. Uh, and then on the like top domains, um, I think that is something that you know, their domains are one-time fees. So uh, if you're earlier, you do have the potential to get some of the better names. Um, you know. We're okay with that as long as it doesn't wind up in the hands of a really small number of people. I don't. I don't really see that as unhealthy. There's a you know there's a secondary market and everything else like that. So. Yeah. Thanks. Any any other questions? In the crowd, I, uh, I know you, I know you all got stuff. I have one question. Um, I was curious what the plan for the browsers are uh, for the unstoppable browser. Is it a temporary solution or is it a, something you think so can grow in into a... In an ideal world, um, we wouldn't need the unstoppable browser. Like we don't really want to be, um, we don't really want to maintain and have a browser and plus like other people, like if we got Chrome to resolve our crypto names, I don't think that we would have uh, I don't think that we would have a unstoppable browser because we don't want to have to like support extensions and all the other um, things that a browser has. So yeah. like in the short term, uh, we built a browser to show it can be done and make it functional, but uh, it's not our dream to become a browser company. Yeah, it, we were really just trying to kind of set an example for the browser community. Like, you know, right now, a lot of what's happening is, is that people are building stuff with, you know, with like IPFS gateways, you know, Cloudflare and other stuff. And we wanted to, uh, sh to provide an example to the market of what it looks like when you have, you know, the IPFS node actually inside um, and hope that and, ho and try to encourage that as a standard. And I, I think this is this is something that like we're really like trying to push towards the browser community in general. And if we can do that, there's like, in terms of like actual browsing, we don't think people are gonna be using our browser. It's called a demo browser, it's for developers. The UI is bad. Um, we're really just trying to, and also this like concept of unincentivized sharing, turning on a node when you go to a website, I think is another important feature that we would wanna encourage browsers to have. But in terms of our users right now, I think most people are using um, our Chrome extension or are using uh, Opera and are likely to be using other tools in the future. They're, they're not, people are not going to be using our tools over the long term. We don't think we're just, we're trying to integrate with, you know, extensions, browsers, et cetera.
Anyone else? Nope. All right. Well, All right. well thanks a lot. That was fantastic. Thanks a bunch, everybody. And I know we kind of glossed over this, but we, mm -hmm. we've been launching these um, IPFS templates. Actually, do you think it makes sense to just show it real quick? Because um, the, the templates might just be one other thing that people would be curious about. We're trying to basically, we're trying to provide tools that don't require, uh, for non-technical users, to be able to launch IPFS websites. And so we already have the, um, the uh, like pinata pinning function built into the, built into the application. And we now have these like widgets where you can launch a profile page and uh, pretty soon you'll be able to launch a blog, hopefully a little e-commerce store. Uh, and we're looking for developers who are building tools like this that would want to share them with our users. You could sell them to our users, you can give them away for free to our users, um, but our users have high intent to launch a decentralized website because they just purchased a, a blockchain domain. So yeah, you can go to, yeah, choose a template. And so it's kind of like decentralized web, you know, decentralized web builder where you've got like a few variables you can change and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I think that's probably it. Yep. All right. Well, uh, thanks everybody for joining and looking forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks everybody. And shout out to Matt Thanks. and Pinata for making mm -hmm. it happen.